Okay, folks. Um, welcome to the channel. I forget what I used to say. I don't have a script. I am just making this up as I go along. Um, it's been a while, so I'm a little, a little rusty. Um, firstly, I want to apologize to folks. I had a stream. I was I'm sorry, trying to do a stream the other day, um, but it was nothing was working at all, so I couldn't actually get anything done, which was very unfortunate. So I apologize for that. Instead, what I can do is make a short video. I guess I'll do this for a little bit, and uh, then just put the video, um, and try, I'll try to do the stream again later some other time. But here we go. Um, so this is a sketch I was working on, let me take the layer away so you can see. This is Ja, short for Japalani, and Leilani, just not short for anything. Uh, these two are from my Lion Paw series. They both feature in the first novel, The Carpenter and the Nightingale. Ja is uh, uh, Kichoro and Aiden's son, whereas Leilani is uh, Dumi and Nia's son. So I guess I'll start with Ja first. Uh, I guess to start with Ja, to start with Kichoro, who is his mom. She actually is a character that I started working on with um, uh, a while back when I was working with Shannon Fantasy Arts. I had designed the character and made the character for um, for one of the sto uh, story that I, I made up. Um, prior, prior to making the character, though, I made sure I asked them if I would have the rights to the character. They said, of course. So uh, I think I did three chapters. I wrote um, three chapters, developed a bunch of characters there. Um, some that didn't belong to me, though, So I just, but I made them up as I went along, gave them personalities and whatnot. They've been mentioned in the book, I think, or the, in the comic series, I think, twice. Uh, but not actually shown. So I was able to design the characters and give them a little backstory, um, and that was fun. But unfortunately, the comic um, didn't finish, so I wasn't able to finish the story. But I really love Kichiro a lot, and I really wanted to continue working with her. And as it is, um, I had developed her, the character on her own, just as a because she needed a backstory, of course. And I, her backstory was basically that she was um, a young widow. Her husband had died, and her husband was a carpenter. Um, so I kept that story. I'm sorry. And, and the her husband in that in that original story was actually Aiden. So what ended up happening is that instead of Aiden, uh, sorry, Aiden now being dead, he is alive, of course, obviously. And her previous husband uh, has passed away. Her previous husband was a little older than she was, but he was loving and, you know, tender to her, and they had a great relationship, but he died suddenly, and unexpectedly. Um, the cause of death, I don't think I mentioned in the book, so I'm not going to say anything now, just in case I, I, I uh, may have written something down, I'm going to contradict myself. Uh, but yeah, so, um, in the story, I'm trying not to, to spoil too much, some of it's kind of expected, some of it's kind of not expected. Um, right, but fast for Ja. So Ja is uh, Kichiro's son, but Ja is her child that she did not give birth to, and there's a reason for that that, you, that you'll find out in the book if you read the book. Um, she, uh, ja is adopted, and, um, but she loves him, you know, as, as any adopted parent will tell you, they love the children as much as if they had given birth to them or, or fathered them or what have you. Um, he is her everything. She'll do anything for him. She, you know, she sacrificed a lot from after her husband died. This is back in an era where the husband provides for the family and the wife stays home with the kids and, and that sort of thing. Um, without a husband, she no longer had a source of income. So she did the best she could on her own um, by herself. And eventually she just couldn't make ends meet. So something happened in the story where... Well, I guess I could tell this part because at the very beginning, she used to sell her house. Actually, that's the first. Actually, that's the very first um, page of the book, is that she sells her house. Why she sells her house is partially revealed, but not completely. So I'm again, like a spoil that either. Um, but uh, when you first meet Ja, he, uh, you meet him at the same time you meet Aiden. Uh, Aiden comes into the story um, to purchase the house, and um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. He, he meets Ja, and, uh, Ja's very cute, he's very innocent, very wide-eyed little boy. He is, at the beginning of the story, I believe he's four, 
And Aiden sees a lot of himself in him, so they get along very easily, very quickly. Um, and Aiden takes a liking to him, because he does obviously have any children of his own, and he's very fond of the boys, leave it at that. So this is, uh, this is how Jaw looks. I don't have any colors down. I'll do that in another stream. I don't want to stream too long, so I'm stream for a little bit. I'm not stream, sorry. Record for a little bit. But, um, so this is him. This is his little face. He's just, you know, a playful little boy. Very sweet. And he and Leilani have a really good relationship. Um, and so, speaking of Leilani, here she is. Uh, Leilani is a very, much a very girly girl. She is me and Dumi's only daughter. She has uh, four brothers, um, and again, she's really fond of, of Ja, because Ja is very gentlemanly. Even though he's young, he is, he is very much a little gentleman, and he treats her like a, like a princess, um, or more specifically, as, as Nia will playfully say, he treats her like his little wife, <laughs> because they see their parents interacting, and they just assume that's how they supposed to interact also, and that's just kind of what they do, as children sometimes do. Um, but they're very fond of each other. Um, uh, so, yeah, they play house together. They, um, they spend a lot of time together. Even when they start school, they're very, very close. Um, so, right, Lenami is uh, a girl, the girl, and she's also a daddy's girl. So, despite the fact that Jaws a very sweet little boy, Jimmy is not the happiest person that, you know, he's, um, he interacts with his daughter so much. Even though, again, he's a lovely little boy, it's hard for him to let go of his little girl. And Nia does not help that at all. But she likes to tease him about that, um, quite often. And he's, he's, you know, like, I don't, I don't want to let her go yet. I'm not ready. And to be clear, she's not a child bride. She's not getting married anytime soon. Um, who knows? She'll even end up with Jai. That's, 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 uh, I haven't written that story out yet. So who knows? Um, I'm not gonna spoil that, but, you know, again, who knows. Uh, but yeah, she's very sweet, she's very innocent, she, um, uh, what to say about her, um, she's living in a house with a bunch of boys, she thinks she'd be end up being a tomboy, but she just isn't. She uh, likes to follow after her mother, and, uh, her brothers don't really you know, they're, they're boys, and they look to wrestle with each other and get dirty in the mud, but they seem to recognize that she doesn't like doing that, and they just sort of <laughs> leave her alone, except for, um, Ajamu. Ajamu and Hershey are very close. He will actually see, her. Ajamu's my very, he's very empathetic. I may have to draw him next, but he's very, very empathetic, very sweet. He, he's the peacemaker among the children. He, when the other boys are, are it, and uh, Leonie has hardly ever one of the, and whatever the argument or dispute, she's hardly ever involved. It's usually just the boys being uh, upset with each other because you know one person did something to the other one and they're not happy about it. And and uh, a jumble will sort of break it up and sort of you know everybody needs to get along that, that sort of thing. Even at four, um, and he'll he'll notice that she'll be by herself and he'll just go ahead and play with her because he doesn't want her to be alone. But when Jaws there, he can sort of relax. It doesn't have to be. Uh, to be um, with her that much. Um, again, not because he doesn't want to, just because you know he wants to play it. You know, mess with his brothers and and Jaw. So, um, Lilani. One thing I think about her, I forgot to mention, is that whereas everybody else has, like Nia has dark brown hair, uh, Dumi has uh, honey brown hair, as does Aiden, and Katoro has black hair. Um, but among the, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Jaws is last his mom his family surname is Tombo. Lilani, like most of the characters in the book, is an Aeli. And among the Aeli family, they all pretty much have brown hair. Among Nia, who's a cougar, her family, they have dark brown or black hair. Uh Leilani for some reason has bright red hair and blue eyes. Uh no one in either family has uh bright red hair. I don't think anyone has blue eyes either, so her color pattern is an enigma. And it actually made um, Aiden make a com made a comment about that. He's asked when he first when uh, well something happened in the story again. I'm not going to try to try and leave to, to spoil anything. But also, I, I know I probably speak quickly. I'm sorry about that. Also, I'll try to speak more slowly. But I fully admit that I do have a speech impediment where I stutter and stumble over my words a bit. So I'm trying not to. But I have to remember to speak more slowly. So I will try to do that. Uh, it'd be a bit more aware of that, I guess I should say. Um, 
right so her her coloring is very unusual it's very unique and no one really knows exactly where she got her coloring from there is a reason for it i haven't written that yet i haven't disclosed it yet and it's not going to be disclosed for a long time but there is a reason for it um I actually had written out, well, you know something, I'm not going to mention it now, it's, it's not important. Um, but yeah, that's uh, basically, that's who John and Melania are, they're very good friends, they're very playful, innocent children, kids just being kids, um, and this is just sort of the thought process I have when I'm drawing things out. I sketch things out, uh, usually with a lighter color, and then go over it in more detail with a darker color. Um, Yeah, uh, so I guess I'll be working on this for a little bit. Um, I I don't really have a whole lot more to say about these kids. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment or shoot me a note or whatever. And I'd be happy to talk more, uh, to tell a little bit more about the, these two or their families or whomever. Um, in the in the beginning of the book, I do have a like a short page, I'm oh, sorry, two pages that describes the characters and shows an illustration of each one um, because there are a lot of I there are a lot of characters in the book, um, but they all serve a purpose. And um, the children in the book, it is a romance novel, but it's not. People get sort of thrown off by oh, it's a romance novel, but uh, I've had adults read this book who are said I don't read romance novels, but I read this one and it was very engaging. They, it was not what they expected. It wasn't like, oh, you know, she threw himself on it with passion and blah, blah, blah. Which, again, I'm not judging. I'm just saying that some people people sort of view romance novels as that sort of oh, oh, it, it's, it's gotta be something like that and they just, you know, it's very, whatever, very stereotypical. And that's just not true at all. People said this book didn't even read as a romance novel to them. They just read it and it was almost like a mystery um, more than anything else. So that's kind of how I write. Um, yet again, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, oh, right, so in, in, the, in the story, there are a lot of heavy issues that the characters deal with. Obviously, with Kachura being a widow, she's dealing with grief and, and sadness. And Ja having, um, it's not just, you know, a wife losing her husband, it's a boy losing his father also. And he deals with that. You see how he, how he deals with that as a child who's, who's, um, who's missing his father very much. Um, you see how it affects the other characters in the stories also. Um, there is an overarching... It's hard to explain. There are... Oh my gosh. There are other issues in the story that are unrelated to... to... Uh, uh, Keturah's husband's death. But it all kind of sort of ties into it a little bit also. It's it's hard to explain. I, I, I guess shameless plug, I invite you all to buy the book. Again, it's a romance novel. It's um, nothing over the top as far as the love scenes go. There are um, two and a half, and people have described it as being poetic, which is kind of the goal when you're doing a romance novel. You don't want to be like, oh, you know, over the top or just sort of, what's the word I'm looking for? Inappropriate. It's, again, again, I'm, I'm, here I am being a writer and not being able to use words. That's just, that's just kind of funny. Um, but also I'm drawing at the same time while I'm talking, so it's, it's, if you ever go to a convention and you see, um, you see, uh, people who are, who are drawing, you talk to them, we are often very distracted when we're drawing. We don't mean to be, and, and I, I think most of us will tell you, hey, you know, I'm here to talk to you also, but I am drawing, so please don't be offended if I am a little distracted, or if I don't look up when I'm talking, when you're talking to me, because I'm, you know, I'm still, essentially this is a work, a work, uh, trip for me. Um, but anyway, yeah, so, these are two, uh, in, in the book, Ja is by far the most important child character. He is, he may actually be the most important character in the book, period, now that I think about it. Um, without him, a lot of the book wouldn't actually have taken place, uh, for various reasons, again, trying not to spoil anything. Um, but he is an extremely pivotal character in the book, and if you read the book, you'll definitely see why. Um, I guess I'll leave a link in the description if you want to actually take a look at the book. Or um, It is available on Amazon. 
I I I know it's available as a as a ebook. I can't remember if I made it available for a hardcover. I'll, I'll check. Um, but I will leave a link to that in the description below. Um, if you like this video, or if you want to see more videos like this, please uh, like and comment. I will be happy to do more. Again, this is not going to be finished right now because it's just a short video. I don't want to make something too long. And also, this is kind of a test to make sure this can get. I can actually do this. It's again very sorry to folks who came out for the live stream the other day and nothing worked and it was disappointing. But I think this works. I did a test, a few tests with the audio and the, and the volume, and making sure the screen was rotated the right way because Lord knows if I did all this and the screen was rotated sideways, I would probably just cry. Like literally just probably cry. So luckily that's not the case here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to stop here. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, again, if you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I will leave a link in the description down below where you can, uh, check out the book. Thanks. And I guess that's it. Thank you. Bye.